Ladies and gentlemen, we have a patient with us. Let's see a few clinical features. All right. Apni ungli ko naak pe lagao aur meri ungli ko lagao. Phir yun lagao, yun lagao. Phir karo. Phir ungli ko lagao. You see there is an intention tremor. She has a clumsiness. Us haath se karo. Us haath se. Haan. So this means this is bilateral. All right, do it again. This means this is bilateral. So one thing we have noted that finger nose test is positive. This indicates ataxic or ataxia. All right. Ab haath samne karo yu. Aise karo. Ye aise karo. Bilkul seedhe karo. All right. Aankhe band karo. आंखें बंद रखो। Now बस्ती के खोल लो। अब दोबारा इतने ऊपर रखो ना हाथ। ये यूं करो, यूं करो, यूं करो। आंखें बंद करो, आंखें बंद करो। I mean that's what you can see two three things you know the first thing that you see that if she has a problem with the loss of position sense then the hand will go this way. Or they'll go this way, or they'll go this way. So you you really want to see the position sense. Cerebellar disease does not have much to do with the position sense. Primarily, it's a disease of the coordination. You go. You can see some clumsiness. Isko yung karlo. Isko bhi yung karlo. Ab yung karo. Test test. Yes, 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 yes. You can see the clumsiness. All right. Put your hands here. Do you want to eat roti? Do you want to eat it? Do you want to eat it? No. No. All right. Now do you want to eat it? Now close your eyes. All right. This again is not for the cerebellar. This is for the position sense. Now, why I'm trying to see both aspects of this disease? That sometimes you got purely cerebellar disease. Sometimes you have ataxia, and there's a loss of position sense, like in Frederick's ataxia. You have both the things together. Ab tum khadi ho jao. Khadi ho jao. All right. पाउं जोड़ो, पाउं जोड़ो, पाउं जोड़ो, बिल्कुल जोड़ लो, मैंने पकड़ा हुआ है, all right, सीधी खड़ी हो, all right, अगर मैं छोडूंगा, तो she actually will fall down. So this is not called Romberg test, positive. Romberg is positive only when the patient sways, and Romberg test is done for dorsal column. It's a misnomer that it's usually used for cerebellar disease. So it is to evaluate. So I think features so far that you have seen, they all fall into a cerebellar disease. And obviously, a cerebellar disease which is progressive in nature, and in this age, this shows that this is a degenerative cerebellar disease. Ye pehle se hai na? So if it is progressive, increasing, so it's usually a D. If it is progressive and very rapidly progressive, you should have something to think for a space occupied lesion if everything has occurred in a month or two months. All right? Now, we must look for nystagmus. You see ऊपर देखो, नीचे देखो, साइड पे देखो। All right, so we don't really see anastigmas. So you don't have to have everything in one particular case. Now I would like to see her walking, and let's see how she walks. जरा खड़े हो, ये आगे से हटा दो तार, उन दे दे नोट सबको। नहीं इनको दे दो ना? अब आप चलो वहाँ तक अकेले चल लोगे आप बैठियो आप आओ इन्हों कोशिश करो 
चलाए चलाओ चलो she doesn't have a balance she ideally should have a broad base gait but i think because why this is not a very broad base gait because she is being supported she is being supported bitha do bitha do bitha do now we can look at her reflexes क्या हुआ है इस पेशेंट को हुआ है मेनजाइटिस शी एज साइंस ऑफ अपर मोटर टाइप ऑफ एलिजन सो शी इज कॉडोफ्रीसिस का केस है अलॉन्ग विद इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ सेरिब्रल ये है सो इट्स नॉट बेसिकली ए सेरिब्रल हाँ इसलिए क्योंकि बिकॉज यू यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट इट तो फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इफ यू लुक एट इट सो दिस इज नॉट अ सेरिब्रल डिजीज सो she has uh, she is spastic also whereas had it been a cerebellar disease this probably would have been another way 